Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about whether tryptophan makes you sleepy. Uh, so first off, what is tryptophan? It's an amino acid, which is a building block of protein. Um, so the body uses it for a variety of different things, but a few notable ones is that we use it to make melatonin, which is a hormone that regulates our sleep wake, wake cycle and melatonin makes us sleepy. Uh, it's also used to make serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter that regulates appetite, sleep, mood, and pain. Uh, so it tends to be that when we have high levels of serotonin, that it causes us to feel relaxed and calm and maybe a little bit sleepy. It's also used to produce vitamin B3, which is necessary for energy metabolism. So given its functions, it makes sense that it would have the reputation for making you sleepy. Uh, but does it really? The answer to that question is no. Uh, tryptophan by itself, if you consume tryptophan completely alone, like in a supplemental form, uh, then yes, it does have the effect of making you immediately tired. Um, but when we consume tryptophan in foods, it's never isolated. As long as we're eating tryptophan along with other amino acids, it doesn't have that immediate sleepy effect that we attribute to tryptophan. Um, so foods with high tryptophan, thinking turkey, chicken, whole milk, eggs, all sorts of foods. Uh, in fact, most Many of these foods have more tryptophan than turkey, even though we tend to associate tryptophan and turkey. Um, but foods that are high in tryptophan also include all sorts of other amino acids and other nutrients, which make the tryptophan not have that immediate sleepy effect on us. So then why does Thanksgiving dinner make us feel drowsy? It is not because of the tryptophan. Uh, if that were the case, then anytime you had chicken or all sorts of other foods, you would be equally drowsy, but that isn't how it works. Uh, more likely when we eat Thanksgiving dinner and we're all nice and tired and sluggish and don't want to do much afterwards, more likely it's to do with the amount of food that we ate and probably the amount of and types of carbohydrates that we ate. So the volume of food, um, when we eat a lot of food, our body has to divert blood flow from like the brain and heart and lungs and muscles and places that we use when we're in more of a fight or flight state. We divert our blood flow from those places to our digestive system. So we have to send a lot of blood to the stomach for digestion to work through the vast quantity of food that we just ate. Um, and so when that happens, that can leave you physically feeling pretty sluggish and tired because your muscles and, and your physical body, you know, outside of your visceral organs, your, your physical muscles and your body are feeling sluggish because they're not getting the blood flow they need to sustain exercise or activity at that level. Um, also, when we eat a lot of carbohydrates, it could make us feel sluggish or sleepy um, because we're going through a blood glucose roller coaster. As we eat different types of carbohydrates, blood glucose is going up. We secrete insulin and then our blood glucose crashes and we're going through this sort of roller coaster of um, <laughs> glucose metabolism, which can make you feel really tired and really sluggish. So definitively, it is not the tryptophan that makes you tired after Thanksgiving dinner. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.